The, are the blue spots, are they? No. Yeah. Here. 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 There's this coal seam, isn't That's the it? coal. That's where there's coal underneath. Hmm. Why is that daring? Oh, well, it took great ba bravery to just, you know, whack it, whack it on. Expose it. No, no. Uh, use my brush in that way. Because oh. there's no second chance. No. <laughs> Very courageous. It either works or it doesn't. That's yeah. something B. Maddox used to say. Do you All remember right. her on that? No. She, see, I, she never taught me. So, and I was kind of a fringe dweller, really. You know, I wasn't in any classes or anything. I was just um, working in the, in the um, studio. So where did you do your training? I went to college, so Caulfield, uh, Caulfield Tech mm -hmm. it was called back then, yeah, and it was a tape, sort of pre-TAFE type place. Was that when Ken Scarlett was there? Lenten mm -hmm. Power? That was Paran Tech. Parand, Parand College of Fine Arts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Murray White was one of my teachers. He was great, actually. He used to just say, get out there and bang up some art. Bang up a bit of art, he'd say. So it was like totally free. You could do whatever you liked. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> there were a few, but it was nearly always male teachers who wanted you to do what they did, how they did it. And if you didn't, you got a P. So my um, academic records are full of P's. P meaning? Pass. Just pass. Mm. What were the other options? Um, I think HD was pretty good. That was a high distinction. Then there was D, which was a distinction. And then P or F. I didn't get any Fs. Because these days, HDs are for people who think for themselves. <laughs> and what else? Oh, Pam Hallandor was there. She taught drawing and she was fantastic. Um, and we had drawing three times a week and they were four hour classes. So I can draw anything. We were even taught um, mechanical drawing, as it was called back then. So, you know, really strong perception of spatiality and form and, you know, yeah. And, and hands-on with materials. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. Mm. Lots of life drawing, which, which is a challenge, as you know. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and um, yeah, it was great. The, the um, classes went from nine till five, five days a week. So it was a really thorough training, mm. but not conceptual, except for a couple of the um, lecturers who were more flexible and, you know, yeah. <laughs> so what do you mean by conceptual? Um, well, is this a conceptual piece here? I, w I would call it conceptual, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to explain it? Well, uh, there's an idea behind it. The motivation to do the work is to communicate about a specific environmental issue, which is the degradation of the Great Artesian Basin and how important the Great Artesian Basin is to Australia and communicating about it because hardly anybody I talk to knows anything about it. It's an unknown thing, you know. 